and she began her military career as a telecommunications officer in 1989. Yes, I was in the third grade. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, it is not only a great pleasure, but it's an absolute honor. Sergeant Major Brooks, leadership schools include but are not limited to the primary leadership development course, basic non-commissioned officer course, advanced non-commissioned senior officer course, the first sergeant's course, Sergeant Major's Academy, Airborne School, Standardized Communication Security Custodian Course, Local Communication Security Management Software Course, and the Communications Security Inspectors Course. Sergeant Major's previous assignments include six stateside assignments, two overseas assignments, and three combat tours to include Afghanistan and Iraq. Her awards and decorations include but are not limited to, two Bronze Star Medals, Merit Tour Service Medal, Army Accommodation Medal, the Sixth Award, two Army Achievement Medals, eight Army Good Conduct Medals, National Defense Service Medal, one Bronze Star, Korean Defense Service Medal, Afghan Afghanistan Campaign Medal, one Bronze Star, and she also holds Parachute Badge and the German Parachute Badge. Sergeant Major Brooks is married to Marcus Brooks and has two beautiful children. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium, Sergeant Major Kimberly Brooks. Thank you, Captain Glass, for that introduction. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Colonel Abero, Command Sergeant Major Green, Lieutenant Colonel Mumford, Command Sergeant Major Rayford, command teams, friends, family, and of course the graduates. Graduates, let me be one of the first to congratulate you on completing this important milestone. When asked to be the guest speaker for today's event, I began to think about what I want to talk about and what will be the takeaway from my speech. I can tell you there are many subjects to speak from, from values and ethics to resiliency to the total soldier concept, and the list goes on and on. However, I decided to talk to you today about my journey and how I made it here and what has kept me. And it is my hope that you can take some of these nuggets and put it in your rucksack. See, my bio states I am from Detroit, Michigan, but what it does not state is that I'm the youngest of nine children. And growing up, I was extremely shy. So shy, I was voted class quietest in my uh, high school class. As a youngster, I always wanted to be a teacher. But as life would have it, my best friend went to the recruiting station, asked me to go with her, and the recruiter asked me, would you like to join the Army? And I had never really thought about it, so he asked me to take the test. And I passed the test and then began the whirlwind of taking a physical, finding a job, and before you know it, I was saying the oath. So that's how I got here. But the three things that have sustained me on my journey here has been my faith, solving for yes, and seizing the opportunity to grow. Now my faith tells me to do unto others as I would want them to do unto me. That's the golden rule. Treat others as you would want to be treated. That has one of the army values in it, which is respect. My faith also tells me, and whatever I do, do it with the heart as working for the Lord and not man. So I take pride in, what, in all that I do. In solving for yes, throughout your military career, you'll be asked to do a lot of demanding tasks and missions. I tell you, it is easy to say why you cannot complete the mission. But try to find a way to always make the mission happen regardless of the parameters around it, resolve to solve for yes. And finally, my favorite is seizing the opportunity to grow and learn. You will learn every moment of every day. Regardless of what you have been told, you can do and change with every experience. So unless you make every waking moment a learning process, 
you are wasting a major part of your life. You can learn from those that you like as well as those that you do not like. So my advice to you is never withdraw from the education process by picking and choosing who you want to learn from. Keep an open mind, your ears attuned to what to willingness to learn, and in a state of humble student. So back to my story and to bring this thing to full circle. Looking back, I can rightly say that had I not kept the faith that that shy kid from Detroit would still be withdrawn from others. Had I not solved for yes and taken the ASVAB test, I may still be in Detroit. And had, not, had I not had an open mind and what the Army had to offer, I would not be standing before you today living the dream of being a teacher, a, teacher, a coach, and a mentor on a daily basis. Thank you for your time. Centurion Pride, Team 15, Army Strong. Thank you, Sergeant Major Brooks, for those words of wisdom and encouragement for our soldiers. In every endeavor, there are those who distinguish themselves through excellence in their accomplishments. With an academic average of 95% or better, the distinguished undergraduates have set themselves apart from their peers. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the members of the official party will present diplomas to the distinguished honor graduates from each class. We ask that you hold applause until all of the graduates have crossed the stage. Please feel free to move about and take photographs at this time. The distinguished honor graduates of the 15th Regimental Signal Brigade are Specialist Richard Carpizza, 25 Bravo, Class 001-14, Bravo Company, 447 Signal Battalion, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. The 447 Signal Battalion is also presenting Specialist Carpizza with a one-year membership to the Signal Corps Regimental Association. PFC Ella Michelli, 25 Bravo, Class 003-14, Charlie Company, 447 Signal Battalion, Fort Gordon, Georgia. PFC Timothy Rogers, 25 Quebec, Class 502-14, Echo Company, 551st Signal Battalion, California Army Reserve. Specialist Jonathan West, 25 Uniform, Class 008-14, Delta Company, 369th Signal Battalion, Kentucky National Guard. Please join me in a round of applause for all of our distinguished graduates. <laughs> At this time, we would like to recognize soldiers who have gone the extra mile to achieve the highest Army Physical Fitness Test score in their respective class by scoring 290 points or higher. PFC Salvador Jimenez. 25 Uniform, Class 007-14, Bravo Company, 369th Signal Battalion, California Army Reserve, with a score of 300 points. <laughs> Private Andrew Wendler, 25 Sierra, Class 944-14, Delta Company, 551st Signal Battalion, Camp Arab John, Kuwait, with a score of 296 points. Please join me in a round of applause for our Army Physical Fitness Excellence recipients. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today's remaining graduates are Private McBank, 25 C. 
Sierra, Fort Gordon, Georgia. Carter Neal, 25 Sierra, Fort Gordon, Georgia. Thank you. 
Disagree with that. Robert McDonald, 25 Bravo, Kentucky National Guard. Private Gallegos, 25 Quebec, Nevada National Guard. Private McCarroll, 25 Quebec, Nevada National Guard. Robert Anderson, 25 Quebec, I know a national guard. Robert Hooper, 25 Quebec, South Carolina Army National Guard. Michael Necessary, 25 Quebec, South Carolina Army Reserve. <laughs> Private Gable, 25 Quebec, Virginia National Guard. Dropping his head. 
As we Marines like to say, it's called Bob and Tom. You ain't right. You ain't even right. Private Dixon, 25% of X. World War II. Okay, people. Private Dog, 25 Sierra, World War II. Oh, Sweeping on stage. Hello! Right, oh, 25 <laughs> uniform! Work for Louisiana! She doesn't know it yet, but I put her on the army sticker on my vehicle now that it's cleaned and waxed. Mm -hmm. And dad to her so that when she comes outside, right, before she sees it, flips it upside down. So when she sees it, it's upside down. And she's like, what does that mean? Like, I'm in distress. <laughs> Man, if I was a cameraman, I would be getting fired. I'm doing horrible. You're getting the essence of that ceremony. Mm. But all the shaking and the offering. Is there a, uh, I'm already using it, but because it's zoomed in, it shakes. I mean, is there a, uh, like a base or a tripod stand you can get for that? You can just... Yeah, you can. Texas. 
uniform. Young son for real. Robert Buzzer, 25 uniform. Alabama, Missouri. Please join me in a round of applause for these graduates. At this time, the commander of the 447 Signal Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Mumford, presents Sergeant Major Brooks with a certificate of appreciation for speaking at today's graduation ceremony. At this time, the Specialist West of the 369th Sita Battalion will lead the graduates in reciting the soldiers' creed.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's graduation ceremony. We ask that families and friends remain in the auditorium to congratulate and take photographs of the graduating soldiers. On behalf of the 15th Regimental Sacred Brigade Command Team, thank you for your attendance at today's ceremony.